Kfon 3.1 gamma, dual coils, total success. Pain in the ass, but a success. So the K-Fon started flooding, um, <coughs> I rebuilt it earlier today, um, I didn't use enough silica, uh, I had flooding issues, decided to rebuild it, and uh, when I rebuilt it I decided to do a dual coil. Did a dual coil, came out to 1.2, so it's not a sub ohm, in fact it might even work on my Pravari. I haven't tried it yet. Um, right now it's on the pulley act. Pain in the fucking ass to build. coil popped three times three times um, it was set up numerous times um, each time it was a different issue it was a different problem I do not recommend doing dual coils but it's possible reason why I chose to do a dual coil I haven't seen a cave on with dual coils and if someone has done it they haven't made it to the damn internet mine made it to the internet so, for all of you who are thinking about getting a K-Fun 3.1 Gamma, <coughs> you can do a dual coil. It's going to be a pain in the ass. I don't recommend it, but you can do it. The vapor production is decent. Um, you're going to have to mess with the airflow. Um, that's a whole other issue in itself. Um, you're going to have to adjust you know, the amount of silica you use, um, what diameter, how many strands of diameter it's. The, the K-Fun, all, all of this plays a factor. Uh, it's not, you know, your standard octopus, something just simple. Everything plays a key factor in how the K-Fun functions. Everything has its part. And if you get it right, it is a beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery. And if you don't get it right, it is... About as gorgeous as a K fun. Because <laughs> that's an ugly motherfucker. So, um, while we're here, the Poliac. Poliac's pretty awesome. Um, mm, I have a lot of issues with the Poliac, actually. Mm, nothing about performance. Um, like the bottom, it's sharp as shit. The button, um, uh, you know, the locking mechanism, a little locky, locky piece, a little slidey, a little doodah, do you know what I mean? Um, it is sharp as shit as well. The 510 connection, every one of those little, pretty little indents, sharp as shit. Um, I don't like it. I don't like that. I wanted a mod, not a fucking weapon. I don't like that. I don't. The sharp edges can be toned down a lot of it. As far as the finish of the Poliac. Love it. Way to the Poliac. Love it. Two adjustable center pins. Love it for the battery post and 510 connection. Absolutely love it. Magnetic button. Not a fan. Uh, my Zen Standard came stock with magnetic button. I did choose to do the spring upgrade. And I like the spring upgrade far more than I like the magnets. I don't know if that is even feasible with this Poliac. Um, but I really want to look into it. Um, in fact, right now I'm on Metal Madness Vapors and Minim Vapors. Looking for it. So, I'm not a huge fan of the magnetic button. I don't like the sharp edges. I love the finish. Love the weight. Love everything else about it. It's only two issues that I have with it. K-Fun? Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love the Poliac. couple downsides to both of them. Mmm. There's pros and cons pretty much everything. So, 
shit happens. You either love it or you leave it. I love it. Works great. Trendsetter. Word to your mother. Mm, got that shit from Vanilla Ice, son. I got a 